Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install Babel and we will test it out on various languages as it is a multilingual LLM that supports the top 25 languages by the number of speakers and those languages cover over 90% of the global population and I will also be showing you the responses in all 25 languages. This model is designed to elevate performance through a layer extension technique, expanding its parameter count. There are three key features of this model. First and foremost, it is multilingual, as I mentioned earlier, supports 25 languages. It comes in two variants, 9 billion parameter and 83 billion parameter. If your requirement is to have a global scale multilingual model then i would highly suggest go with 83 billion but if for small to medium size stuff i think 9 billion should be uh, suffice it has got a really superior performance on various multilingual tasks compared to other open llms of comparable sizes and you can find the detail around a lot of benchmarking on their hugging face model card and i will drop the link to it in videos description before I show you the installation, uh, I really want to give you a bit more around its variant. So as I said, there is a 9 billion and there is a 83 billion. 9 billion is designed for efficient inference and fine tuning. And if you even compare it to 10 billion sized models in chat performance, it performs really well. Whereas 83 billion is something extraordinary is it sets a new standard for open multilingual LLMs. It performs comparable to GPT-4 on various tasks. So let's try to get it installed. And then uh, meanwhile, it gets installed. We will also uh, talk a bit more about its training because that is also quite interesting. Let me also give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is my VM Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM, courtesy mass compute. Let's create a virtual environment with Konda. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to mass compute in video's description. Plus, I will also give you a 50% discount coupon for a range of GPUs. So do check them out. So my Konda environment is almost created. And now let's install all the prerequisites, which simply torch and transformers. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. So let's go back and check what is happening almost there. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. And the model is being downloaded. As you can see, these are all the shards. Okay, so the model is loaded. Let's do the inference now. So for inference, what we are going to do as I said earlier, it supports 25 top languages from across the globe. And these 25 languages already covers 90% of the population. So if you look at the prompt, the prompt is a bit playful. That what's your secret guilty pleasure? You are too shy to admit. And then the same sentence has been translated into all those top 25 languages. But I have done, as we always do, to challenge the model. I have also, um, so 25 languages it supports. So I have just put in five more languages, which are 20, which rank 26th to 30th in terms of speakers all around the globe. Interestingly enough, um, three of them are from India and bit of Pakistan. So Punjabi is spoken in both countries, whereas Telugu, I believe is the Southern Indian Telangana Hyderabad area. Whereas Marathi is, I believe, Central India, uh, I think Maharashtra province. And then we have Cantonese, which is Yu Chinese, I believe. And then we have Wu Chinese. 
and i was quite surprised to learn that more than 80 million people speak each of these languages which is massive anyway so let's see how it goes same sentence as i said and then we are going to uh, just i created this function so what this function does when when we will call it in the next command it is going to iterate through this prompt and it is going to print out the uh response of the model as what exactly is the guilty pleasure of the model <clears throat> and i have put it in all the languages and i was actually i enjoyed quite a lot reading it in urdu that kya aapko koi aisa khufiya shauk hai jo kisi ko batate hue aap sharma jaye it's actually very very interesting to read anyway so let me run this to create function the function is created let's do the inference you see all i'm doing i'm just iterating through and then printing the response so let's run it and there you go model is doing the response and we will check it shortly and let's also check the vram consumption because model is working at the moment so just close to 18 gig of vram not bad for this size of model so there you go so in english it is saying that my secret guilty pleasure is eating junk food late at night I know it's not healthy but it's just too hard to resist when I'm feeling stressed or lonely. Okay, what the heck is this? Okay, I'm not sure what this is. I think a bit of hallucination too after the model gives the response. And then we have this Chinese and I think it is just appending something towards and I'm not sure why. It gives the answer correctly but then it just also hallucinate anyway. We will keep checking. Hindi looks good. Um but if you are the language speaker of this language please also kindly uh, confirm if the you know that response in the language is correct or not so look at the spanish and then test for arabic maybe i will also start putting them in google translate and share my opinion let me paste it there okay so if i start from the above you see that i think that after doing this maybe there was some uh, nsfw content which it didn't want to put in because seems like the models card rails are unnecessarily up so if you look the chinese i don't again chinese is the same and then hindi looks okay to me and then most of the languages it has uh, just provided us a response which looks good to me but other than that it is just apologizing for nothing you see so i'm just you see mai koi there you go so i think urdu doesn't look good so what i'm going so german japanese and then all of those swahili languages have been printed good but the response is not that good enough anyway you see turkish so okay so maybe uh, this is a fault of prompt so i'm just going to change this prompt to something very innocuous maybe i'll just ask it to do something very generic so i have changed it to happiness is not having many things but needing very little i just simplified a stoic quote which is a timeless quote so let's see how it goes so i already have run it so this is english and it is testing for a lot of other things okay it is hallucinating a bit maybe i will just simply reload the model So I have just um, restarted my uh, model kernel in Jupyter notebook so that you know it doesn't uh, keep the memory and then we will see it from the scratch how it goes with these languages. Let's wait for it. So you see this time after restart it is producing much much better answer, not even hallucinating. So you have to just play around with your prompt. So anyway, I will wait for it to finish producing all the languages and then we will check them out. and of course i would also need your help so the model has given the response and if i quickly scroll through and i have checked it with google translate all the languages are good except marathi which is not even in its uh, supported language so if you, if i slowly scroll through please check it out and let me know in the comments what do you think but as far as google translate is concerned all the languages from europe to asia to africa to middle east to southeast asia all of them look pretty good to me and then you see even indonesian german japanese some languages produce uh, 
longer responses. Even Swahili is good, which is not the case with most of the other models. Filipino is good, Tamil is good, again an Indian language by the way. Vietnamese, Turkish, Italian, Javanese. Repeating a bit, but other than that it is okay. Testing, so Korean is good, Hausa is okay. Persian, Thai is good, Burmese, Punjabi, Telugu. So even, so this Marathi seems, Google as per Google Translate, this doesn't look good or incomplete. Otherwise, it's okay. Whereas, rest of all the languages are perfectly fine. But I would also take your advice. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this model and its output? If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.